What's up, Eagles fans, and welcome inside the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look at Eagles' first-round pick, Devontae Smith. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to break down a lot of great clips here from the Heisman Trophy winner of 2020. We're going to take a look at Smith, top of the screen, lined up as a Z receiver. He's facing press coverage, and he's going to be running a deep in-breaking route over the middle of the field. Now, you're always worried about that as a receiver, right? If you're running into traffic, how are you going to deal with contact, whether it's a safety over the middle, maybe you've got a linebacker buzzing from the backside. He's, there's a lot of bodies here in the middle between the hash marks. That's never an issue for Devontae Smith. He is fearless over the middle of the field. And this is a great example of that because you're going to get the clear out from the number two receiver. He's going to run vertically down the field. Devontae Smith's going to run right behind it with the deep in cut and just watch him climb the ladder in the middle of the field, expose his whole body, and he is fearless. Watch the airtime, hands catch, is able to play through contact, makes this catch for a first down over the middle of the field. Nice job here by Devontae Smith by, from the freshman quarterback here in Bryce Young. Catches a fastball through contact in the middle of the field. Awesome job here from Devontae Smith. Fearless working the middle of the field. Now we're going to take a look at another clip here. Ole Miss, this time he's in the slot. Watch Devontae Smith uh, working here against this Rebels defense. He had a huge game against this team, really, over the last two years. He had like four touchdowns against them back in 2019 as well. This time he's going to run just a little wheel route. He's basically just going to run out to the sideline. They're, they're gonna, it's a well-designed play. Obviously, lots of traffic here from the number one and number two receivers. This corner is going to kind of get lost in man-to-man -man coverage. But you're going to see Devontae, he's got a track and finish. Climb the ladder, through contact, contested catch comes down with it. And that's a consistent theme with Devontae Smith. The ball never hits the ground. Never hits the ground. He catches everything thrown his way. Let's take a look at another example here, this time against Georgia. And against Georgia, you're going up against some great corners from the SEC. And I think when you look at Tyson Campbell, who was one of my favorite corners in this draft, who's a top 40 pick here uh, in this past draft, he's going to have to try and work against Devontae Smith. This is a great matchup, pivotal matchup for Devontae coming into the season. You're going to see him here in press coverage, little shimmy off the line of scrimmage, gets Campbell on his toes, works vertically. All right, so here's what I like about the route. He's not just bending this inside. Watch how he does a nice job of attacking the corner, gets him to break down, and then he's going to work vertically. Now, if you're the corner, if you're Tyson Campbell, right here, you don't know if he's going to keep running downfield. You don't know if he's going to try and break this back outside for a corner, if he's going to try and throw all the brakes on and hit a little hitch route, or if he's going to work towards the inside. You don't know at this point. He does a great job here, Devontae Smith, with his body language. You see the lean. He does not give away which way he is about to break. Now he sells in the inside. Once again, leaves his feet. Expecting contact. He's able to make the play over the middle of the field between the hash marks. Great job there by Devontae Smith. An outstanding use of his body control and his route running ability. It's a really good example of his ability to create separation as a receiver, and he comes away with a, with a reception against a top-flight corner in the SEC. Another example here against the Georgia Bulldogs. Devontae Smith, once again, top of the screen against Tyson Campbell from Georgia. What's he going to do? He's going to off the line of scrimmage against press. He's going to break the corner down. He's going to sell vertical, throw the afterburners on, throw the brakes on a little stop route. But here's what I love. He doesn't just stop here and turn and try and catch the football. Watch how he attacks the football, comes back and attacks it because you've got a corner underneath this throw. If he does not come back this, Devontae Smith, this might be picked off because you see where Devontae Smith is here. He's coming back to attack it. He's going to steal it away from this Georgia defender. That's not, and he has to make that decision already. He knows this right here. I have to attack this football when I stick my foot in the ground and break back. Turns back to find the football, attacks it, takes it away from the defender. First down, again, outside the numbers, working against a press corner in Tyson Campbell. Great job there from Devontae Smith against Georgia. Another example, here's Devontae Smith once again against Tyson Campbell in the Georgia game. It's a huge game for him, a huge matchup coming into the season. Not afraid to attack vertically, and then watch the slant route. Watch the quick inbreaker, and then you see the hands catch. Just consistent hands on the football. If he, if he's if he's able to touch it, he's pulling it in. Outstanding catch away from his frame with a defender on his backside. You're gonna have to make catches like that repeatedly in the NFL because you're not gonna be able to create consistent separation every single rep. Devontae Smith knows how to make catches in traffic with bodies around him. Outstanding catch there uh, on the little RPO from Alabama. 
here against Mississippi State. I believe he had four touchdowns in this Mississippi State game. It was a huge outing for him. You're going to get him where he's going to work with a little short motion. He's at the top of the screen. He's going to sell as if he's working to the corner. Then he's going to break into the post. So a little sutter step, throws off the, the defensive back. Outstanding route. Touchdown, easy touchdown. Walks into the end zone, hits his head on the goal post. Devontae Smith, really, you know, when you watch him, you can really get a sense of his pacing. He really kind of likes to mess up or mess with his stride length. Watch this here as he comes off the ball. And you can see how his pad level rises up. He's going to sell. You don't know which, which way he's going to roll at this point. His pads rise up. His stride length changes. So if you're the corner, again, you don't know. Is he breaking outside? Is he breaking inside? Is he going to stop? Is he going to break back to the sideline? Gets the corner to flip his hips, breaks towards the post. Easy touchdown for Mac Jones in, in, down in the low red zone. Another one against Mississippi State. Bottom of the screen. This time, this one is just a simple slant route. He's not really putting a lot of sauce on this one because he knows I'm probably getting this ball really fast off a quick play action fake. This is just going to be a bang play action play from Mac Jones. He puts his foot in the ground. He's got to put, put his foot in the ground and hit Devontae Smith on the quick slant. Devontae knows I got to beat this corner. But by the way, there's a safety lurking here in the middle of the field. So I could take a shot here. What's Devontae Smith do? Hands catch away from the body, takes the hit from the safety, still comes up with a touchdown. Consistently fearless, consistently competitively tough. You see it all the time from Devontae Smith. Just a fun, fun football player uh, to be able to watch because the little things matter to him. And I think when you watch him, that really shines through. Here's the Iron Bowl against Auburn. Here's Devontae Smith, bottom of the screen. Obviously, arch rival, uh, one of the biggest rivalry games in college football. Nice, well-designed play here. It's basically a little gadget play where he's going to fake as if he's blocking for a little screen here. Then he's going to release upfield. He makes this catch, and now look at a lot of green grass here. He's going to take the grass that belongs to him. Watch him separate from the DB, make that first man miss, and he just runs away from everyone. I don't know what he would have timed in the 40-yard dash. Whatever that time is, doesn't matter because his play speed is outstanding. He runs away from everybody. Especially when somebody's chasing him, he is always separating. He is always pulling away. And there's Devontae Smith doing exactly that uh, on this play. Well-designed play against the Auburn Tigers. we we'll take a look at another one. This one against Kentucky. This is a little bit later in the season. X receiver, top of the screen, against press coverage. This is just a vertical route down the field, over the shoulder. Just a fa simple fade. You like the placement here. You, obviously, he's lined up inside the numbers. There's a lot of space outside for Mac Jones to be able to deliver this football. If he's lined up even on the numbers or outside the numbers, a lot less space. But because of the placement here, because of his alignment, there's a ton of space for him to be able to run and be able to work over the shoulder. But you love the ball tracking here. Over the shoulder, he got a corner on his hip. That's a good corner there. And Kelvin Joseph looks the, corner, looks the, the ball in over the shoulder, through contact, both feet in. That's good in the NFL. That's a reception for a first down. Big play. Another rivalry game, LSU. LSU had beaten them the year before. They come back. He has a huge game in this one. This is his hometown team, and this is a big play. His dad is in the stands here, front row. This is going to be a play right in front of his father, who's right over here. And you can see this is Devontae Smith. He's going to catch this touchdown. Just watch him lined up. Press man coverage against one of the best corners in the country, and Derek Stingley works vertically, sells the post route. And look at him break back towards the corner. Climb the ladder and make this play. Look, at his size, is he going to be a jump ball receiver? He's not going to be a consistent jump ball receiver. That's not, that's not the point of this clip. It's more about the competitiveness and the toughness, the want to. That is what you see when you see these jump balls from a smaller receiver. We talked about that with Jalen Rager last year. You see that with Devontae Smith here. Again, Climb the ladder against another talented corner who's got good position. The corner's in a good spot here. You feel pretty good if you're the corner there. Watch him go up with one hand, secure this ball. Just an outstanding catch in the back of the end zone. Both feet in. That's a touchdown. Devontae Smith doing it in front of his family right there in the front row. Uh, awesome, awesome play. Uh, let's get, see another play here. Uh, this time in the, uh, down there in Jerry World against, the, uh, against Notre Dame. This is the college football playoff. Here's Devontae Smith, top of the screen. We're going to get the play in, and I want you to watch just how quickly he's able to come off the ball. And again, it's just another one of those plays where he's going to run towards the middle of the field. You get the deep in breaker, fearless over the middle. Watch the hang time, and I love the way that he's able – you see the body control, as this isn't just like attack at the top at the highest point. 
Watch him hang up in the air in the middle of the field, body fully exposed. I'm going to play full speed so you get the full sense of it. Fully exposed through contact, makes the catch to the ground, holds on to the football through contact. Awesome job there uh, from Devontae Smith. We'll see another play here from the Notre Dame game. Bottom of the screen here. This is just a great route. If you're this corner, this is a tough go because, again, he's coming off the ball. You don't know if this is going to be an inbreaker. you got to protect against that. Obviously, the corner's on an island, so, and Devontae Smith knows that. The, the DB's got to protect against the inbreaker. He's got to protect against the fade. He's got to protect against the quick out. But here, watch Devontae Smith. He's going to sell vertical, outside release. He's going to sell vertical. Corner is thinking, hey, this is going to be a fade over the top into the back corner of the end zone. But watch Devontae Smith sell vertical. Then he's going to put his foot in the ground right here and break back towards the pylon. This is a great route. A little blaze out route here down in the low red zone. And you see the separation. And then the tough catch. Both feet in at the pylon. That's good in the NFL as well. Great ball from Mac Jones, but you love the route here from Devontae Smith. We'll play at full speed one more time. You can see the change of speed. We talked about that earlier, right? The changing pacing of his route. He's always messing with a defender. You see the change in the pacing there. He comes away with the separation. Huge catch along the sideline. Touchdown at the front pylon. That was awesome. We'll go to now to the national title game against Ohio State. Top of the screen against Sean Wade. It was a draft pick here by the Baltimore Ravens this past spring. Press coverage, fight through contact, get outside release, back shoulder fade, creates the separation, makes a great catch to the ground, sideline. That's a first down. One more play, and this actually goes back to last year. And this was one of my favorite plays. I'm going to credit uh, my co-host on the Journey to the Draft podcast, Ben Fennel, for finding this play. This is outstanding. So it's pre-snap, and this is 2019. Here's Devontae Smith. He's lined up as the Z receiver. He's yelling over. You can see he's pointing over to the, to the tight end. On the opposite side, Hey, tight end, you're going to get a penalty throw, a flag thrown on us if you don't get up on the line of scrimmage and close that formation. Because right now, this is an illegal formation. You look at Devontae Smith. He said, hey, get up on the ball. Get up on the ball. And the tight end's like, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I got to get up on the ball. He moves the tight end up. Now they're not in a legal formation. They're able to execute the play to a ro rolls out, gets rid of this football. But this play happens because of Devontae Smith getting all of his guys out. And so this is, a, this is a, that kind of alpha player in a receiver room that can, knows everybody's role on the offense on any given play. This was just an awesome example of his football IQ, getting his teammates lined up, knowing, knowing what everyone is supposed to do on a given play. I wanted to make sure I got this play into the breakdown. Outstanding example of the football IQ from Devontae Smith. It's just one of the many reasons why the Eagles felt that he could trade him up, make him a top 10 player in this draft. Hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Stay tuned. We're going to keep breaking down all the newest Eagles right here inside the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group.